Hello again, welcome back to my channel, Turquoise in Sasquatch. It is still Friday, November 4th, 2022. Uh, I wanted to do a second video on just to tell you the things that have happened here with me. Um, this is gonna be a short video just cause this just happened. Um, so I figured I'll kind of share it away from like my moon video. <laughs> So if you haven't checked out my moon video, uh, it's weird. I don't know if you want to even look at it, but it's just weird. But I wanted to kind of give you a second um, of a second video of like what has been happening. So I haven't, you know, it's getting colder now and um, I haven't been outside as much as I should be. I just kind of been in the house, so I don't. I'm trying not to kind of stay away from, you know, whatever I, the, th the creatures in my backyard. Um, but this week, um, I would probably say, uh, when was it? Monday. It this just happened earlier um, this week. I was, my, my, maybe Monday or Tuesday. I was, um, it was already like dark outside. Um, I was sitting like, um, in my great room, like right where I have like my chimney and my triangular windows. I have this huge chair that I love and I'm, I was sitting there. My husband's like in the kitchen looking at mail. My kitten's like in there running around. Um, and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at my phone and I heard noise up here in my loft, like on the roof. Not only did I hear it, but my kitten heard it as well because she jumped like it scared her. And she ran to like the bottom of my steps to come up to my loft. She stood there like at the bottom of the steps and she was looking up and she was alert. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she hears it. And not only did we hear it once, like we heard it two other times. So total about three times that we heard something. And I said to my husband, there's something in my, you know, my roof. I can hear it. And he's so tired from work. He was like, well, go check it out. And I'm like, I'm not going. I'm not, I don't care. I'm not checking it out. Whatever it is, I'm, 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 you know, letting it be. I'm not going up there. Um, so that does that doesn't happen like um it does not happen like, we don't hear stuff but you know and it would only happen like it, and it wasn't like a lot it was almost like letting me know that they were up there uh and then my kitten she's at the bottom of the steps and of course you know she reacted to that right so she's just sitting there like alert and looking up but then she relaxed and then she continued to do what she was doing. And I'm like, okay, it's all right. Like they're probably, you know, they don't want to do anything else or they're just kind of gone. I'm not sure. So she started acting normal. So I'm like, all right, I didn't come up to check. Um, that happened earlier in the week. Uh, let's see. On probably midweek trying to think if it was tuesday well tuesday or wednesday uh i was cleaning so might have been what was i doing because my kitten we have a chair like in the dining room because she likes to look at the birds and squirrels and she was sitting um my husband put a chair there for her to kind of lay there and she can just kind of fall asleep and she can look out the window so she was laying there and I, out of the corner, of my, I'm in the kitchen. I can't remember what I was working on. I'm standing there and I see wings, like big wings. So I walk over and there was this big hawk, like this hawk. And all I saw was like the uh, big wingspan. And like, oh my gosh, there's a hawk. And my kitten's alert looking at it. And it lands in one of our trees, like right by the sidewalk. Uh, and it's standing on like one of the branches. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't have my phone on me. So I, I run to get my phone 
And by the time I come back and, you know, have my phone, because I want to take pictures of it, it was gone. The hawk was gone. But somehow, um, I guess when I try to get the pictures, I accidentally took a picture and towards like my trees, like right by the driveway. And I didn't even know that I had taken a picture. Later on in that evening, I'm looking, you know, through my phone and I'm like, oh my gosh, I took a picture. So of course I zoom in and I'm looking at my picture and I'm, I'm trying to figure out well, when did I take this? And then I remember, oh, it was, you know, I tried, you know, the hawk and everything. So there was like a figure, not a figure. It was like a face. Uh, it looked like it was, I'm thinking it must've been a smaller one in the trees, like right in front, like in on my drive, like by my driveway. And to me, I could see like the two little eyes, the nose. It looks weird because it looks kind of furry to me. Um, and it was in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like it was in there. So I often wonder like they're probably in the trees like all around my house like during the day. And I don't even, you know, I don't pay attention. I'm in here. I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. Um so maybe they're kind of just watching the house. I mean, I don't know. I never notice things. They don't, I mean, bother every now and then I hear something during the day, but it rarely happens. Last night, I had another thing happen. Um, I was, um, I had been kind of cleaning the house. Um, my day kind of got extended. I wanted to kind of have a lot of like kind of gray hairs and stuff. And um, I got this like conditioner color, which is not working for my grays. It doesn't cover my grays. So I'm gonna have to think of something else. But anyway, my day had gotten extended and I didn't get a chance to do it earlier. So it ended up being, um, I did it after dinner. It was already, actually it was already late. It was probably around 830 or so. I had done the dishes. So I figured, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do like my grace. Um, and I had put a, one of those clay masks. So, um, one of those, you know, for your skin. And I went ahead and, you know, kind of color, did my, my grace, just the top. Um, and then I put my mask on and then I'm thinking, all right, I got some time. You know, I set my timer. And I think I was going to leave it on for like, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I think I put it my timer for like 35 minutes or so. Because it's just like a color, like a conditioner. Um, the other stuff kind of, it's a little bit harder, like harsher. So I'm using like a, a conditioner. So it, something that doesn't have any chemicals. Um... So anyway, I set my timer and I had some time to kill. And then, oh, I'm going to show you what I was working on. Because I came, I, I came up here and uh, my mom had given me, because, you know, she collected also some shells and rocks and while we were at the beach. Um, so this is one of hers. So this is like, she picked up a big one and I think it's so pretty. It's so unusual. Um, I painted it and then I, I kind of added some like little gold um, on the outs, like the little edges of it. So I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this big thing. So I was um, I was up here. I had colored it in the afternoon. I painted it like this, like pearl white color. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I might just kind of put one of those little... Um, one of these things succulent on it and I might write something on the bottom I'm not sure yet what I'm doing but I thought that that would be unique to kind of have maybe like welcome or I don't know something my last name um something on there or just something so I look just because it looks really really unique so that's what I was thinking and this is like an artificial uh, succulent it's not a real one although I could put a real one on there if I wanted to um, but I think I'm just going to do this one 
So I, I still have to figure it out what I'm going to do. But um, I had to come up here because I figured, okay, I'm going to and um, do, you know, like the little gold trim. So I had um, I had put glue and I'm working on the gold trim. I'm just kind of putting and I had put glue on it when um, I'm sitting here again, like my hair, you know, it's got the color in it. I have my I have my clay mask on. So, you know, I have this pinkish um, clay mask on and I'm sitting here like on this chair and I have my little table that I'm working on. And I'm facing like this way towards my round window because that's, you know, that's what I'm working on and everything. My lights are on. Uh, this was around 90, before nine o'clock. Um, I had, again, the glue already around my shell. So I'm kind of po pasting like the, my little, um, gold leaf, um, trim. And when I hear like n not one finger, it sounded like two or more, maybe like three. I don't know. I heard, okay. On my skylight. So I'm sitting there and all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, right. My kitten was not with me. She was downstairs. So it was just me up here. Um, so I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like I clearly heard a tap, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like that. It almost sounded like more than one finger. And I'm like, holy crap. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I looked up on my window and I'm like, do not scare me. Like, I'm working here. Like, don't scare me. And I said it loud. I'm like, don't scare me. Because um, I'm thinking, I have glue on this thing. I can't just, you know. Um, so I'm like, all right. Just telling myself, all right. Just do what you need to do. Act calm. Act normal. Just let them know. And it was kind of, I'm like, do not scare me. Like, let me do what I got to do. And it was silent. Um, so I'm, I'm finishing what I had glued on. And I'm like, all right, I'm done. So I acted normal. I took a picture of my, you know, what I was doing. Um, I took like, you know, kind of so it wouldn't be obvious. I took a picture towards a couple of pictures towards my skylight. And I'm like, okay. So I go downstairs, you know, I turn my lights off and everything. And I go tell my husband. And my husband's like half asleep because he works long hours. And um, so he, he's just like, uh. I'm like, okay. Um, I'm like, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm not going back up there. So I wait for my timer to go off down, you know, stairs. I'm like, all right. Then I, you know, go take my my take my mask off take my shower wash all my stuff off and then I didn't hear anything else but that has not happened here before like they don't do that while I'm up here like I hear a noise here and there or I feel like I'm being watched but they haven't done that and the only thing I can think of is that because I had my I had that mask that clay mask on did they think what she doing or do they think you, I mean, they must, they know. So they knew, they had to know it was me. I mean, I'm, I've put masks on before, at, you know, during the day or at night. And so I'm sure they've seen me. Um, but it was just weird that that does not happen. And it was just like a, a tap. And it, and I don't know if they were thinking like, what are you doing? Like, what do you have on your face? Or something. It's just. And that's the kind of stuff. That I'm, I'm kind of. Taking note. Um, the kind of like behaviors. I don't know if I mentioned this. In one of my videos or not. Because I kind of. I'm not sure if I did or not. I have actually recorded some videos. And then I'm kind of like. No delete. So I didn't. I haven't posted them. I deleted them. But so I'm not sure. If I've talked about this or not. Or if it actually was was in one of the ones that I um, posted 
But I've noticed that after I take a shower, like if, if I go, they I seem to get more activity. I know my husband at one point said, you know, they're like, to him, they're like, if they're animals, they're not going to care for human scent. Like they don't want like, you know, like the perfumes on or the lotions. They don't want to have anything to do with that. They, you know, it, it's like a bad smell to them, I'm sure. He's thinking they're like animals. They're not going to, they'll, they'll kind of like run away. Um, but I think it's like the opposite. Um, I like a lot of like scented lotions and I like to kind of pamper myself. I also make my own, um, I buy like the unscented bases and then I add my own, um, you know, shimmer. I add my own, like micas. Um, I add my own scents uh, to them. So, and then, I don't know. It just seems like I get, for some reason, after, like, if I'm my makeup is on and everything, I get more. Like, I feel like they're out there more or I take pictures and they're there. I can, it's almost like I catch better pictures. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of, again, learning not by interacting, just kind of doing my, like my everyday stuff, but picking up on, um, behaviors. And it's just, I don't know. But I mean, after I kind of, I was kind of a little bit annoyed, like, do not scare me. Like, I didn't hear anything. And I went downstairs. I didn't hear anything. Like, everything has been good. Um, maybe they, you know, they do understand. I don't know. They must understand. Because I know I've said that before. Like, I know that um, they've scared. I think I, I might have said it on sean graham's show where um or maybe on vault's show too i'm not sure i know i've talked about it before where um i was standing on my porch one day and or maybe even on here i'm not sure or on my wood line i could hear something like taking like sniffing it's almost like but it was loud, like it was like taking a, like it was sniffing. And it made me feel so uneasy. Because right now, I know they know my scent. They know my scent. And they knew my scent back in at least 2016. Could they have known it way before that? Since we moved here? Probably. But I didn't notice it until 2016. Um after I guess March after I started I started finding the first footprint like February I think it was February 28th it was on a Sunday I think it was February 28th I don't think that year had 29 days I know it was the end of the February it was it happened to me on a Sunday that's when I found my first footprint and like March April when I I started finding like wherever I worked at like around my like if I mowed and my, they would kind of, I would find footprints around my mower. So I thought, oh my gosh, they're sniffing the mower. Um, so I came to the conclusion back then that they know my scent. Because wherever I'm working, I would find footprints in that area. Um, so I know that, I mean... It, this kind of stuff like how do you get rid of like they they know your scent like how how, how do you prevent that I, I I know that there's um I think I heard a story about a grandmother telling her granddaughter I think like to put perfume on so they like they don't know like the scent um but what if you don't know what if you don't know what's out there and you just you know that's a I guess they follow people home you don't know that or or when uh you, you need to burn your clothes i think dark dw you talked about a story about like got like young guys like running and then i think one of the brothers was like hey you know he was kind of like 
angry with them and like you you need to burn your clothes and your shoes and because you we don't want those things here coming here but what if like the people like me I had no clue I mean I can't had come from like I mean I'm I was kind of raised in the city I'm here I mean to me it's the middle of nowhere but I know it's not because there's kind of I'm I'm not really in the middle of nowhere there's places cities I have cities close by but to me it's like the middle of nowhere um like how do I mean how how do you know like things you know you don't know think people don't tell you oh you know you need to you know don't do this or don't do that anyway I'm gonna start rambling on so I just wanted to give you like an update on what was happening and what had just happened and um I am kind of taking notes of behaviors at least with me um maybe I can contribute in some way to this community um I mean, I don't, I feel like I don't have, I mean, if I can kind of pictures, just what I, what I can do to kind of contribute, um, just so you can see faces and, and I know people have similar, like, I, I've seen similar faces kind of and similar like encounters as to lights in the woods and things like that so maybe i can contribute to this community that way um but anyway i will kind of keep you updated on what else happens um so again have a great weekend and thank you again for watching and i will catch you guys later